Ayotunde will be telling us where the home base Super Eagles are flying to on Sports News. Yes, indeed, Melinda Nigeria's home base Super Eagles are set to depart for the African Nations Championship holding in Morocco. The 23 man home Eagles squad. The coaching crew and indeed the backroom staff will be heading out on Sunday, January the 27th. Uh, this, uh, beg your pardon, January the 7th this year. That's exactly uh, tomorrow. While the team is well prepared for the tournament and they have made winning the competition their top priority this year. Well, the home Eagles will play their opening match. That's on January the 15th against Rwanda. Catalan giants FC Barcelona have now reached an agreement with Liverpool FC to acquire midfielder Philippe Coutinho. The two clubs reached a transfer fee of £142 million with Liverpool, receiving £105 million up front and the rest in performance-related add-ons. The full figure will make Coutinho the second most expensive player in world football behind Neymar, who left Barca for PSG last summer in a deal worth €222 million. Euros. Barca said the Brazilian will sign a five-and-a-half-year contract with a buyout clause of 400 million euros. Switzerland have emerged Hopman Cup champions for the third time after Roger Federer and Belinda Benkic combined to topple Germany's Alexander Zverev and Angelique Kerber 4-3-4-2. The 19-time Grand Slam champion Federer, who lifted the trophy alongside Martina Hingis back in 2001, won all four of his singles contests, whilst rejuvenated Benkic helped maintain an unbeaten Swiss record in the mixed doubles. Earlier, Federer outplayed Sasha Zverev 6-7, 6-love, 6-2, to begin an enthralling final. The contest was leveled by Angelique Keber, defeating Benkic 6-4, 6-1. Nick Kyrgios stands one win away from a first tour title on home soil after upsetting defending champion Grigor Dimitrov in the Brisbane International semi-finals. The 22-year-old overcame another slow start to oust the Bulgarian 3-6-6-1-6-4 and book a Sunday final. Kyrgios' ranking will move to number 18 after reaching the final and climb to number 17 if eventually he wins. Ryan Harrison will shoot for his second career title after ending the dream run of Australian teenager Alex de Mineur in the Brisbane International semi-finals. Battling against a free-swinging opponent and a roaring Brisbane crowd, Harrison surged back to claim a 4-6-7-6-6-4 win over the 18-year-old. The American will face number three seed and home favorite Nib Kyrgios in the final on Sunday. And that sports news, the news at 10, continues shortly. In Zimbabwe, two ministers who served under Robert Mugabe have been charged with corruption, the latest in the crackdown of officials loyal to the former president. The ex-foreign minister, Walter Mzembi, and ex-energy minister, Samuel Udenge, were charged with criminal abuse of office. Both men have denied any wrongdoing. Job Shilaka, Mr. Mzembi's lawyer, says he's going to file an application for exemption to the charge against his client, describing the charges as ridiculous. Both men were granted bail today and have been asked to surrender their passports until January 22nd when their cases would be heard. And at least eight migrants have drowned and 84 others rescued after a rubber dinghy sank off the coast of Libya. Many of those rescued have spent long hours 
on the water. Dozens appear to still be missing as the search for survivors continues. The United Nations says sea crossing to Europe is the deadliest route in the world for migrants. Nearly 34,000 of them have drowned or gone missing in the waters since 2000, according to the figures from the International Organization for Migration, that's the IOM. In 2017, about 3,000 migrants drowned while trying to cross the Mediterranean. Aid workers in Syria say at least 10 hospitals in rebel held areas have suffered direct attacks over the past 10 days. An advisor to the coalition of medical charities, Hamish Gordon, says the attacks had been most intense for a year. Over 100 children in the east near Damascus are in need of medical evacuation. Amongst facilities hit by the recent airstrikes was a maternity hospital in Marat al Numan in Ilib province, which aid workers say was hit three times in four days. But the Syrian government and its ally Russia have consistently denied targeting any civilian casualties. The Syrian Observatory for Human Rights says 40 airstrikes were launched on the eastern Ghouta area of Damascus on Saturday. <laughs> A war monitor, the White Helmet, also says at least 30 civilians were killed during the week when jets dropped bombs on a residential area in a besieged rebel enclave east of Syria's capital. Other clips posted online by the civil defense group, the White Helmet, also seems to show their members helping wounded people in Abin and Azrata after purported airstrikes. Reports say six people were injured in Abin after at least 10 airstrikes hit the town. The United Nations says about 400,000 civilians besieged in the eastern Ghouta area face complete catastrophe because aid deliveries by the government are blocked and hundreds of people who need urgent medical evacuation have not been allowed outside the enclave. And the main news again. Again, suspected herdsman today struck in Benue State killed 11 persons in Tombo village in local, local government area. That's the news at 10 tonight. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Melinda Akinami.